moving along from Carson Wentz to Tyrod Taylor. The Houston, Texas, Tyrod Taylor is not going to play on Thursday night, which means uh, we, we Deshaun have to... Watson. Oh, no, no, no. Davis Mills. Sorry. 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 Not Deshaun so, Watson for a second. For a second. No. In fact, uh, almost 6% of the Texans active roster, roster spots will be used on quarterbacks who cannot or will not play on Thursday night. And they already have one of the worst rosters in football. But sure, keep going. Uh, they, they will likely call up Jeff Driscoll from the practice squad. So that way they don't, I mean, they have to have another quarterback, right? It can't just be Davis Mills, right? Yeah, I'm trying to think who is on the roster that may have some emergency quarterback uh, scenario. But, yeah, they'll bring up Driscoll right Maybe before. Danny Amendola, we'll but make... he's hurt too, so, you know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it'd be Driscoll. And then I, I'm trying to think who else they have. I'm trying to think who their wide receivers are. They're going to go like... Wildcat. They, they, they like to run the football anyway, so. Uh, Philip Lindsay, Mark Ingram, Rex Burkhead, David Johnson. Yeah, I mean, they literally would just go Wildcat the rest of the game. I think so. they would they would put back they would put back the NFL pass again for you know decades. No, well, they already, no, they're, 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 already they're already currently doing that. Um Tyron Taylor's actually looked pretty good and you feel bad for him because he just can't stop getting yeah. hurt wherever he goes. Were they were they winning when he went out of the game last week? I was trying to remember. Um mm-hmm. I knew he had the scramble for the touchdown. I couldn't remember exactly when it happened. Let me look. I feel like it was either close or they might have been winning. But either way, like, it goes to show you, too, how well he's been playing. Like, he legitimately kept their team in that game. Yeah, they were. They uh, When was, he, he ran in for the touchdown, they were up 14-7. Yeah, I mean, I just, you know, he's, he's had – actually, we'll just go on this tangent. He has had the worst luck of any NFL player that I can remember in the past two decades. I mean, literally. Like, you get drafted to the Baltimore Ravens who end up going and winning a Super Bowl with the quarterback that's there, which isn't a bad thing because you get a ring as a backup, but still, yeah. like, you don't get that opportunity to shine, which I think he would have done some special things there. Because when he first got in the league, too, he wouldn't have been Lamar, but he was able to tote the rock a little bit and take off and do something. Relative right? to, like, the quarterbacks who were in the league at the time, he would have been yeah. kind of Lamar-ish, yeah. 100%. And then, you, then he goes to, what, Buffalo. They go to the playoffs. That's not good enough for them at that point. Yep. So they ship him out to, what, Cleveland after that? And then, of well, course, Rex, they no, Rex, Rex got fired. Anthony Lynn used him down the stretch. And then yeah. he goes to Cleveland. He suffers a concussion. He gets number one, well, when, when, but still, even before he plays, they draft the number one overall pick in a yeah. quarterback. So, you know, the writing's already on the wall. Then he gets the concussion. Baker goes in, plays well, rests his history there. He goes to the L.A. Chargers. Again, they draft the quarterback. He gets stabbed by a doctor who's trying to shoot up his ribs. <laughs> Justin Herbert goes in. He plays amazing. Now he's moving on from there to the Houston Texans, which, you know, looked like, a, I guess, a decent situation in the sense that he was going to get to play. But now he's got a hamstring injury. And he's, what, on an IR now? I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a player have more unfortunate – I don't even know what you call it – unfortunate consequences or issues. It's just – it's I, amazing. I would, uh, I would lob out my, uh, my boy Mike Glennon for that as well. In the Stop. Sense- no, no, I'm Stop. Just- no, 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 I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, no, he had Russell Wilson behind him at NC State, gets drafted by Greg Schiano in Tampa Bay, because Schiano loved him and recruited him to Rutgers in college, and then Schiano gets canned, so they draft Jameis Winston, he goes and signs with the Bears, and then they, and then they decide to draft Mitchell Trubisky. Mike Glennon had never taken a team to the playoffs, like, let's be real, like, let's, let's not try to play this up, they're not even in the same category, all right? Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm, just I'm just looking for guys who, who might have uh, similar uh, similar luck. No, no. There's no one close to, to Rod Taylor. No, I, I agree. Look, Tyrod Taylor got stabbed in the, like, in the lung by the – I mean, seriously. Yeah. Serious. He had, I don't know how many times I got injected in my ribs in 2012, but my God. I mean, like, that's a, that's a serious puncture if you do that. Yes. I, anyway. Uh, I'm trying to think of other really unlucky – players i can't think of um i'm probably to... should move on then 